Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have seen how we can make this to-do app and how we can save the information in state variable. Like I said, task 1 and I click add. You see that we have a task here. If I say task 2, then we have a task 2 also, you see and uh, we can check the task is finished like this or we can delete the task so everything is working here but the problem is if i restart this application then data is gone if i restart it then data is gone because we are not able to save this information in any data type you see we are not able to save the information in any database so in this video we are going to learn how we can save the information of this task in real-time database that we are going to learn here and uh, for that what we have to do you see that uh, I have this Firebase we have the library that we have to install so in my previous videos I have explained how to set up this Firebase how to set up this Firebase library in your react native application so there I have explained how to install this app and then how to install database. So these two library you have to install. First one is React Native Firebase app and then second one is Firebase database. I have already installed and I have explained this in my previous videos also. If you don't know how to install this library and how to set up your React Native application, please watch that because it is not possible to explain everything in a single video because that's a parts of videos so you have to see those video also so now i assume that you have installed real-time database in your application react native application now we want to use the this library to insert the information in real-time database so i have this real-time database then i want to add this information here means my task i want to add in this real-time database so i assume that you have set up your react native project with the library you have installed app library and database library for real-time database and if you don't know how to install see my previous video I will add in i tag also that you can follow those videos so you can learn how to set up that because it's not possible to explain everything in a single video so you have to watch first how to set up this Al already I have installed these two libraries and I have set up this project with the firebase real-time database now we have to write the coding to insert the information in real-time database so in previous video we have seen that all the information is storing in the state variable this task type but when i restart the application everything is gone because this is not saving in the database now we have to save in the database so when i click on this add button so we are calling this function add task and here we are storing the information in this state variable but now we have to insert the information in the real real time database for inserting this i have to change this coding and we have to do something that we are going to learn so uh, first of all what i do i just take the coding here to insert the information so for that uh, i take this so first i import this library and we import this at the top here save this I have this firebase so now remember that uh, whenever I need to insert the information in real-time database we have to provide a SID on the basis of SID a unique ID we will insert the information so I am creating here one more state variable for SID so I say set SID or we can say ID or number whatever you want I say use state and I say 0 we will start from the 0 and this is number type like this save this so now uh, I need to uh, use uh, the function or you can say hook is called use effect hook so I say use effect this is the hook that we use to read information from the database every time whenever we update the variable so I will update this information whenever this refresh variable will change remember that I will use this refresh state variable to modify the value update some information 
so this var variable will update and on the basis of that i will call this function like this now here i need to write a code to read the information from the real time database for that i say firebase dot firebase here then i say dot app then dot database and here i need to pass the address of the database means this url copy and i provide the address here save this this database i provide now i need to pass the reference also so i say the reference is 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 to do data to do data that i want then after that i say once i will execute this so i have to remove this then we have a ref then i have a once here then i say value after that uh, i say then so we have a data here like this way like this way so whenever we are reading a data data will come here and i say if the data dot val is not equal to null means we have a data here then i will read i say set all task to data dot val remember that i will add here and i will set uh, the sid also so i say set sid that would be the data dot val dot length the length of the means number of record is there then we will decide the sid the next id we will decide on the basis of number of record available so like this way so if you see this here if i refresh it nothing we will have because data is empty so i restart it you see after restart we uh, do not have any information here because right now we have null value here we do not have any value in real time database also so we will insert a value and then we will see that after restart we will have the value in this application so now for inserting this we have to uh, write a code in add task function this add task function we use to insert information in a state variable but now we will insert information in the real time database for that what i do say here uh, that uh, firebase firebase then i say dot app like this then say dot database and here we pass the database also then i say ref then i will insert uh, information here so i say to do data and then i will insert information in sid on the basis of sid i will insert the information new sid uh, then i say set information remember that we have to add here set so i need to remove this and i need to cut this information cut this and i paste here because i need to insert this information here then we say then and here i should insert the sid also i say sid and that would be the sid like this save this so we add the sid here and then display that information have been inserted for that i use this arrow function and here i say uh, set task means we have to clear this information then i say set refresh set refresh and i say not equal to refresh like this way save this and i need to i need to display here toast toast android so we have to import this automatically it is not coming so i need to import this so i say toast android like this and then i say toast android dot show here i say record inserted or we can say task inserted like this way now we have inserted the task the problem is that we have to get this sid as a latest one if no, nothing we are inserting remember then the id is zero and next time we need a incremental sid means one two three four so for that i need to create a one function i say get sid so i create a function i say get sid this function will get the latest id remember otherwise we will have a wrong id so i say here async async i will have and here i say await 
and from this I will use Firebase and uh, I will use uh, the latest ID. I will read the latest ID. So I say app. Then I take database and here I pass the database information. So that is the latest one. I copy this path and I paste this here. Remember? Then I say ref. So all the information I want to read. So I say to do data to do data all the information I want to read from here then I say uh, once remember I say value then I need then so I will read the information here I say data and I will read the information and I say if data dot well not equal to null remember if it is not null that means we have some value so I will set the SID here. I say data dot well dot length. Remember that I need that length I need here. So with the help of this, with the help of this function get SID, I will have a latest ID here and I will update this SID here so that I can get the next ID to insert the information. And that's why uh, I will call this function here I say get SID then I do this then and here I do information remember so I cut this information everything I cut from here I cut all these things from here cut it here and I paste inside this remember save this so this work we will do we will insert the record only when we will get the SID. So once we get the SID, then we provide this SID here and we insert the information and this information will be inserted and we will read the latest one. Now we try to do, we try to insert the information first and check whether information is inserting or not. So I say task one, remember, I say insert and we should have task inserted, you see, task is inserted and we should see that this information is also available here you see task to do data zero id and we have inserted the information all information we have inserted here now once again we try to insert the information so i say here task 2 remember insert this you see task 2 means next time we have a one id first time we have zero then we have one so this information is also coming here you see this information is also coming here here also you see this is the wrong one so we delete this information this is not okay so this is the information record one and record two we have inserted you see so we have successfully insert this information and on the basis of this you see uh, this is use effect use effect is also reading the information and we have the latest one here now if I try to restart it means I restart this so you will see that data would not be lost we will have the data from the real-time database so now we will start this application and we have the data which is available you see we have the information the same information we have here also in real-time database so everything is in front of you that we have inserted the information so two tasks we have completed uh, one is to read the information from real-time database and display here second one to get the ID latest ID incremental 0 1 2 3 on the basis of ID we have inserted the information here now we need to delete the task means we have to delete this task if we want and we have to toggle the information these two tasks we have to do now for that deleting is so much easy so we have to move this code in place of this we have to delete the information so for deleting just I copy this nothing is a special I just make copy of copy of this and we have a task ID here this task ID we have on the basis of delete so I see that here if I pass this one is delete task and I am passing here the task ID in place of this task ID I will pass the S ID remember so i say s item dot s id and this s id i have to insert uh, here also in the 
type of this means I have to insert this SID here also remember this I will insert here also save this so this SID we are passing in a delete function here I am passing the SID so I say it is SSID of number type remember here we have and I pass here to delete this so I use tilde operator then I need to define SSID remember because I want to delete this and in place of once I need to remove like this and uh, if we remove this so we do not have any data like this and uh, after this removal of this what I say I say set refresh remember not refresh because we have to refresh this otherwise it would not uh, update and I say here toast uh, dot show and here I say task deleted and here I say toast dot long and I save this you see this done I have to remove this no need of this save this uh, this one is here and uh, we need to close this save this like this way you see so if we delete then it will refresh and delete on the basis of SID I try to delete this you see it has been removed and if you see that it will remove from here also you see delete from here also so simple so we have removed it successfully now last thing is we have to uh, update or toggle this information for toggling this we have item here and uh, on the basis of ID we have to toggle this information so I just uh, remove this and uh, I take same here so I copy this and I paste it here and we have ID also so this ID uh, would be I list item dot SID on the basis of this SID we will update the information so I say update and what we will update we will update the completed so I say here completed and I say uh, list item dot completed whatever the information is here we just make reverse of this and that we will we want to update here then after that I say then if we update it remember after updation of this again I refresh it I refresh it and I make toast also I display toast I say task completed or task completed like this or we can say task updated and we say toast dot long save this so task updated we have uh, for example suppose if I say like this so you see task is updated now I insert one more task I say task 2 I press enter so it will be inserted you see task 2 is coming remember that we have complete this task and I complete this task also so it will be completed and you see all the information is updated here also you see completed is true completed is true and if I uncheck it again means it's an incomplete task you see completed is false you see remember that if I do check then it true if I uncheck it then it is false everything is updating and if I delete this task one and you see that it will delete on the same time from the real-time database also now we have the some problem on reading the information here task ID of null that we do also so we have this information here so we can uh, say filter here because it is the problem uh, sometime we have a null value so I say item then item dot item is not equal to null save this you see so we have filtered this information so if it is not null then we will pass in the flat list otherwise we would not pass so right now we have a task one only and now I say task three enter and you will see that we will have a task three also task is inserted and we have this information available like this way we can insert any number of record you see ID one then two zero ID is not available because we have incremented the information and uh, you see so if I check this means task is completed then it become true and we will have the line here that it has been completed
now we have one more line of code that this button uh, this button we have on the top we have this one also this icon so on the basis of this icon when i click on this icon icon then all the uh, information should be removed or should deleted so for that i say on press and here i say delete all delete all we should call this function delete all so i take this one delete task so i copy this same i paste this and i say delete all so i do not pass anything here because i have to remove all the records so i not need to pass any id because i need to delete all the records from this then i say remove and all task deleted save this and you will see that whenever i will click on this all information should delete you see but we have to update information now i need to see that record is deleted yes record is deleted all the records have deleted but we have to refresh it also so that we can update it so all record has been deleted we have update this also but it is not refreshing why i restart this so we delete all and we refresh all also but task is not refreshes now we see once again uh, i say task 1 task 1 i add this task yes then i say task 2 i add this task also you see i update also yes i click on delete all you see all task has been delete but it is not updating we have to update this also we say set refresh but on the basis of this refresh this is not refreshing so it is not updating on click of all deleting of elements why but i am doing here refresh also so when i am clicking all when i am deleting all the information so i can set uh, all task remember i can set all task to null also like this save this so i can make this as a null remember because all record all record i am removing so i can do like this also now i see i say task 1 then i say task 2 remember and i do update also yes task is completed it is working it is also working no problem if i delete any record it is also working if i delete this also it is also working now you see we have null all the information and everything is okay so you see how we link this to do task application with the real time database you see and all the information is available now online on real time database so once again if suppose i say task 1 and i save some information this information is available here and if i restart this application you will see that data would not be lost we will have the same task that is available in real time database so only one task is available so one we have so once we restart the application we will have the same data which we have saved in the last stage so like this way we can uh, link our application with the real time database as i shown here in this video as an example of to do task so we have linked this application we have saved the information in real time database in next video we will see that how we can uh, uh, add login or registration screen in this application because now it's only application but it not have a professional look like we have login and registration we have flash screen we have preservation of information like username and password so all we will do one by one so in this video i explain you how to insert the information in real time database all the tasks i can we update and insert in real time database in next video we will see that how we inst install the react navigation to uh, you can say navigate the screen from login to task screen like this this is the task screen so first of all login screen will come once you log in with username and password then we will have this to do task screen so in next video we will install react navigation and uh, we will insert them a screen also like login and registration so in this video uh, we learn how to insert the information in real time database and in next video we will use how to install the react navigation library in this application to perform a login and registration activity so if you learn something from this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video